Tom Kimbrell. China missed strike three, fooled him on a slider that was in the dust. Avila is out number two, and they're going to start to stand here at Wrigley. You just can't cover the 97, 98 mile an hour fastball and the look. Excellent pitch by Kimbrell that gets punch up. Kimbrell one out away from his 357th career save. 12th most in big league history. Jordy Mercer at the plate. Mercer pops it foul off to the right out of play. If Mercer would reach, you've got a dangerous guy in the on-deck circle, Ryan Zimmerman. And he's always had home run power, so if you're Kimbrell, you want to get the guy at the plate right now. Mercer 0 for 3. The old one way outside might have overthrown that one just a tad. Covered in shade. The 1 1. Fouled away. Astro is running. He'll trot back to first. Or walk. <laughs> and now the Nationals down to their last strike. 11,143 on their feet. Nationals two, two down, top of the ninth. Kimbrell fires. Swang and a miss, and the ball game is over. Craig Kimbrell gets the save. The Cubs win the ball game five to two. They take three out of four against the Washington Nationals. As the final score today is five to two, Cubs. And it is time to fly the W. This victory is brought to you by Allegiant Air, official airline of the Cubs radio network, nonstop flights and low fares, only at Allegiant.com. Together we fly. Cubs win at 5-2. Hard to think of a better series the Cubs have played all year than the one we just saw, Ron. Yeah, winning three out of four against a very good veteran ball club. Good pitching. Um, and, you know, some clutch hitting and hitting throughout the series. And that is a great sign for the Cubs here going forward. We'll be back to wrap it up with the totals, the final, the Cubs five, the Nationals two. This is the score and the Xfinity Mobile Cubs Radio Network. Alfonso. For over 95 years, Kellogg Printing Company has served local and nationwide clients with the highest quality, full-service printing products. Kellogg Printing Company continues to grow with new technology and equipment to bring exceptional quality products, unbeatable pricing, and outstanding dedicated services to each client. For your next business cards, calendars, banners, and more, contact Kellogg Printing Company at 734-8388 or stop by 95 Public Square in downtown Monmouth. Hi, this is Jenna at Stanton Insurance. My brother Jeff and I are fourth generation independent insurance agents. Our family agency has been serving the community since 1919. Being an independent agency with multiple companies, we have the ability to shop your insurance coverages even before you get your renewal. Our goal is to make sure you are properly insured at the right price. Give us a call today at 734-2171 or stop in at 96 Public Square and get your free quote today. It's time now for a special sports presentation on the Prairie Communications Sports Network. Myself and Scott Weber would like to welcome you folks to Sunny Lane Field today for high school baseball on the Prairie Communications Sports Network. It's been a while since we've been able to get on the air with uh, with as much rain as we've gotten in the area, but uh, we're headlong into regional time. This time next week, we'll be uh, we'll be talking about regional time. I'm Sean.
John Temple alongside Scott Weber. Yeah, it seems like it, it it went from the start of the season into regionals real quick with this last week in the rain and uh, you know looking forward to some good baseball, but it's crazy how dry the field is sitting up here looking at it. Yeah, the field that we've talked about at the last broadcast here, and I've been kind of driving around town and kind of stopping by uh, the past year just to see the things that they've got going on here. They've done a lot of work here on, on the inside of this, this whole time. You know, Greeny's done a, a great job out here. You, you've been around this baseball field for 100 years just like I have, and you know, left field actually looks like a left field. The dirt looks a lot better. There's still a little bit of a lip out there, but I mean, Greeny and, and the his staff has done a great job out here, and, and it does look great from up here. Yeah, the past 10, 11 summers, I probably drug this thing about eight gazillion times, probably. And, and now that they got it nice and smooth for you, think of how easy it would be for you. Exactly. Uh, should have a good one tonight. It's always a good one when these two schools get together. I don't care what the sport, I don't care if it's boys or girls sports, it doesn't matter. Mammoth Roseville at 5-6, and six, taking on the Macomb Bombers at 5-2. and two. Uh, you, You've been the uh, girls basketball coach here at Mammoth Roseville and been on the staff with uh, with with Coach Cole, the head coach of the Mammoth Rose Titan baseball program, for several years. Plus, you you coach golf here. Uh, you know what it means when Mammoth Rose and Macomb get together. You know when you hear Mammoth Macomb enough said. <laughs> you know it's it's almost like when we talked last week when we, we had Illini West in here. It's not regional yet, but at the end of the day, you want to walk off the field tonight beating Macomb. Yeah. Whether it's one nothing or twenty nothing, you want to get a win out of this. We just actually found out in the pregame it won't. It's not going to be released on the IHSA website yet, but uh, the pairings, and we'll talk about the seedings, they were just out officially today. The pairings will officially come out tomorrow, but we got a sneak peek of what uh, what could happen, and uh, we are going to talk about the seedings and the potential matchup for Monmouth Roseville. Could involve this McComb Bombers, should things go right for Monmouth Roseville in the regionals, and we'll step away. They're getting ready for the national anthem here at Sunny Lane Field, so we'll step away for a couple minutes and uh, bring you Monmouth Roseville Titan baseball here on AM 1330, FM 94.1 WREM. We'll be back. Hello, I'm Dr. Ellen.